Hello, this is Eloisa with Math Leopard, and I've got something to prove. Namely, that the square root of a prime number p is irrational. Let us first consider the field of real numbers, denoted by blackboard bold r, or more easily understood as the number line. Contained within the real numbers are the set of integers z, from the German Zahlen. Those numbers, both positive and negative, we use to count 0, 1, etc., expressed in set notation as dot dot dot, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, that is all the negative counting numbers, then 0, 1, 2, etc., all of the positive counting numbers, including 0. However, there is a subset of real numbers containing all of the integers within it, the rational numbers q for quotient. These include fractions such as 1 eighth, 3 fourths, etc., more formally stated as a set of all fractions of the form a over b, where b is necessarily non-zero, and where a and b are integers, and let's add to that that they're fully reduced meaning that they have no common factor other than one. Now let's consider the set of numbers that are not rational, called the irrational numbers denoted by capital I. Where do these numbers reside on the number line? If I look at the set of rational numbers, something interesting occurs. Let's look at 1 eighth and 3 fourths from earlier. It should be easy to see that there are many other fractions in between them, say 5 sixteenths, for example. Continuing in a more methodical manner, we can take the average of 1 eighth and 5 sixteenths to arrive at 7 over 32. Then the average of 1 eighth and 7 thirty seconds is 11 over 64, etc., etc., etc. If we can do this indefinitely, which we can, between any two rational numbers, then where do the irrational numbers reside? Although the rational numbers are infinitely dense on any interval, they are countable. This entails we can assign a one-to-one -one correspondence between them and the natural numbers, meaning they form a discrete and infinitely discontinuous set. So as such, the irrational numbers exist at the limits of rational numbers. Those numbers are not in Q. So now on to our proof. So let's recall for all prime numbers p, such that p divides the product a times p. This implies that p either divides or is a factor of a, or p divides b. In this proof, we want to show that the square root of p is not rational. That is, it is not an element of q. For contradiction, let's assume root p is a positive rational number that can be expressed as a quotient of a over b, where a and b are relatively prime, that is, their greatest common factor is 1. Squaring both sides of this identity gives us b squared times p is equal to a squared. This implies that p divides a squared, which of course is just a times a, indicating that p divides a. If p is a factor of a, then there exists some positive integer n such that a can be written as p times n. That is, b squared p is equal to p squared n squared. Reducing the p's gives us b squared is equal to p times n squared, which means that p divides b by the same argument as above. If p is a factor of b, then there must exist a positive integer m, such that b can be written as p times m. So the greatest common factor of a and b now becomes the greatest common factor of pn and pm, which is at the very least p. But since p is a prime number, it's not equal to 1, yielding a contradiction to our assumed construction of root p as a fully reduced rational number. Hence, our assumption was incorrect, meaning that root p is not a rational number, implying it must be irrational. Thus, it is shown. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time.